Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Eden Zero episode number 6. Alright, the previous episode. Uh, we finally saved Pino. Uh, Shiki, he, like you know, they had a big, like you know, a battle. And Shiki kind of dominated the whole, <laughs> you know, battle scene and how he defeated them. And by the end of it, Pino also kind of broke free her, um what do you call it uh the the trauma that she was facing of cb you know like the, she was kind of traumatized with whatever cb was doing and cb was also i think kind of keeping some other machines hostage which also kind of affected pino in a way so she also broke free of that those chains and she herself was able to kind of help shiki in defeating them as well and i think like you know like her power is really fascinating like like all electrical devices is rendered useless in front of her so that's like one of the most like broken power in a way like you know in front of electrical uh, like you know enemies she she's an unstoppable she will be unstoppable and shiki with his gravity magic like damn like <laughs> the power balance of, of this team is immense and uh let's see what happens this episode we in the in the end we kind of saw elsie in a little bit so i'm guessing probably she'll like we'll see her this episode i hope so at least like we've been kind of getting teased you know like with elsie's appearance for quite a few episodes so i'm guessing like she'll probably turn out sooner or later you know so let's see if th that is this episode if we finally meet elsie this episode uh, I mean, I'm talking about Shiki and uh, his crew, if they meet LC this episode. So, let's see. So, without further ado, let's get started with episode number 6 of Eden Zero. So, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> that owl. <laughs> oh yeah, in the end, why is also kind of came and pitched in, you know. Uh, Pino's voice is so cute. I have to say, like the way the voice acting is so damn, you know. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, yeah. I... Yeah, it would have been the same result either way. Hmm, okay. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking. Erased, not even completely erased. That means it's not recoverable, I'm guessing. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Wait. Okay. I was not expecting that. Wait a minute, I kind of noticed it now in the uh, opening. Like, we can see those tattoos of those ether gear, you know? Like, in, like in, even in the legs and the other hands. So, it's... Oh, wait a minute. I thought Shiki only had one ether gear. It's... Okay, I have to note, like, you know, I'll have to pay attention to that next time. Like, is... Does his leg also have those tattoos? Oh, damn. Maybe that's... Okay, I'll have to note, like, I'll keep, pay attention next time. I thought he, only his one hand had uh, the ether, like, tattoo. Maybe not. Yeah, I can, I can see one hand, so... Okay, I'll kind of pay attention next time. 
like if only one of his hand has the ether gear that means he'll probably get all the other like you know body parts like leg and hand ether gear like infused as well because in the opening it is kind of showing something like that okay let's see skull fairy oh yeah okay oh wait what oh yeah 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 Wait, so he made Pino? Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe. No, don't do that. Oh, sports. Okay. <laughs> Husband? Oh my god, that was a mistranslation. Like, Goshijin kind of translates into husband and master at the same time. Like, some, like, you know? Like, it's a big, like, respectful way to call. Okay, let's. Oh no! Well, you're involved in it, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is why why is come on you have to run as well <laughs> Well you're involved in all of this so yeah same treatment All right <laughs> Jobs <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh no. <laughs> True. Okay, I I'm guessing they won't be able to follow them after. Th oh. What? What the? Oh no, they're going to catch up to cops. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, why is <laughs> he snuck in? <laughs> Piece of junk. Wait, won't this? It's Pocky, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. What? Um, well, you're in the same boat. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Um. <laughs> what? Oh, true. Okay. Wait, he knows something? Um, damn. Will he be? Oh, he has. Oh, damn. He has an ether gear as well. <laughs> OS upgrade, wow. Okay, this is really handy. Is he upgrading? Yeah.
Oh, wow, that's a very useful ether device, you know. All green, okay. Yeah, he completely transformed it, rebuilding it. Damn. Complete. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, Shiki, you have gravity magic. Come on, you can do it. Okay. <laughs> Rebuild machines, okay. Wow. Oh. Okay, nice. Oh, damn. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, something with um no <laughs> okay, will they be able to go back to the time? Oh, is this wise? Damn, bo two wises. <laughs> News. Travel and what? Yeah. What? What? Oh, wow. Another time. <laughs> so. Time got stolen. Whoa! F Damn! What the? Chronophage! <laughs> That's a cool name, I have to say. Fifty years behind? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's why there's a ban. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Wait, won't this affect? Yeah. Okay, re what? Demon? Oh, wait. Yeah. Wait, won't this affect like the past in this? New reality, okay. Oh, wow, okay. I was thinking, like, won't the time paradox happen? Yeah, that's really interesting. Okay, I'll... Okay.
Wow, okay, this is... <laughs> okay. So that means if this wise dies, the old wise won't be affected because there's no time like relation here. Like their like lives are different, their timelines got separated. Oh damn, what the? Spirit ship? <laughs> Is this Elsie's ship? Oh, damn. Oh, is it locked? Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. Finally. Okay, she knows Shiki. Okay. Six great pirates. The seven sea. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. Okay, this is some serious business, I think. Like, everyone is so freaking out. <laughs> she keeps like <laughs> Skull Fairy. Same voice actor as Elsa. That's nice. <laughs> That's how you react. <laughs> Space time wall, okay. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Tracker. <laughs> Only idiots. Plunder. <laughs> Well, that's pirates for you. Damn! <laughs> Pino! <laughs> oh, wow, great. Sell you guys off. <laughs> Fun place. Oh. Oh no. Damn. <laughs> Isn't this your ship? I don't think they need Hmm. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> Happy is like Let's go on. Oh. Oh wow! <laughs> nice. This is. <laughs> wow. This is great. Oh, damn. <laughs> wow, that's that's great. Yeah, it's the only way. 
One way, okay. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, let's see. Who they'll have to... Oh, damn. Oh, I was talking about this in the previous episode. Like, nice interior designing, I said. <laughs> yeah, what are these things? Oh, what the... What are these zombies? Like robot zombies or something? Yeah, they're they're like zombies. Tentacle zombies. <laughs> Even better. No, they're tentacle zombies. Space octopus. That also works. <laughs> Damn. Whoa. Okay, there you go. <laughs> well, these are small fries. Okay, Shiki is... Oh my god. <laughs> Rebecca should have Mimetic Parasite No, they're octopus <laughs> Oh damn Oh no. Oh yeah, yeah. Happy can transform. Alright, there you go. Alright, this will work. <laughs> oh yeah, Pino did not know this. <laughs> shoot white, shoot white first. <laughs> I'm sure she'll shoot wise or do something to him. Let's see. Damn. Okay, wise, you. <laughs> oh my god. All right. <laughs> okay, there she is. She called Shiki by her name. I'm sure like she has some other objective. Whoa! Damn, that's cool. Wait. Wait a minute. Was is that a mask or is that Who knows? I'm not sure that like this can go two ways. Either that skull face is a mask. Most probably that is a mask or maybe that is her actual appearance. And in like, you know, like she wears uh, a, you know, a human mask or something like it can go either way. I'm not sure because I won't be surprised if that is really her actual face, you know, like a skull. And the, the face we see, the Elsa's face we see is like, you know, it's an imitation or uh, like disguise or a mask that she usually uses to go in front of other humans. I'm not sure. I'm sure we'll get like, you know, we'll get to know in the next episode. <coughs> it might be a mask, you know, because of the uh, name Skull Fairy. So that's why, you know, uh, a skull mask because of that. Either way, this can go. Let's just wait for the next episode. Okay, I have quite a few things to talk about this episode, especially about the whole time thing that uh, they explained here. And 
It's really interesting. I've never ever heard about something like this. Like, not even in any anime. Is that the end? Yeah, there you go. All right. So, okay. The main thing that I want to talk about here is the whole, um, uh, you know, the the um, the time paradox thing that they kind of said. Now, what actually happens in actual, you know, time sleep? In actual time sleep, you kind of go back to like you know either the past uh, or the future, whatever, and uh, whatever people you meet there and you know interact with there if they like if you come into contact with your own past self it is usually a disaster because it will kind of create a time paradox so that should be avoided now for this like you know like as explained here this is not a time slip or nothing like that this is what what actually happened here as far as i, I could understand is the <clears throat> the planet's time got eaten up by that chrono uh, what was the name chrono I, I forgot anyways uh like by the time monster um and chrono phase well, uh, i don't know anyways uh, okay <laughs> like that time monster ate, ate the time and that's why uh the time is lagging by 50 years now like as the old elder wife said that this won't affect in any time paradox because uh that like you know the the time that is lagging by 50 years that is also a reality in our time so what she he actually means is that this is not some kind of uh going back to time they are in the same timeline but they are visiting a place which is lagging by 50 years that means like you know they 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 are not time sleeping they are just going to a place where the time is 50 years like lagging that's basically it so like it's it's a weird concept but i really it's a really interesting concept as they say so that means that the 50 years lagging time is also a reality in this time so that means like wherever like any like you know character from there there if they come out they will be included into this world's timeline whether it is wise or someone else so so what actually happened is like as wise came out of that place he got like you know uh, uh, what can i say like included into the timeline or world line uh, timeline of this world that is like now he is also a organism who is living in this time that means he and the older wise can meet they can talk with each other they can even like <laughs> you know discuss new theories with each other so <laughs> that's basically it he is now a what do you call it an organism or a person who is connected to this time so now if he again goes back to uh, like planet norma you know uh, like I'm, I'm guessing the uh, person like the uh, actual person of uh, like actual wife of planet norma won't be there like it will be something like he got went missing from that planet it's not that he went missing he just came out of planet norma and he is now a part of uh, shiki's timeline so it, it, maybe it's something like that so it's just like a compartment you know in the in 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 this world in in this world it's just a compartment where the time is lagging by 50 years so like that compartment is also a part of this time so it's, it's something weird like this so that means like if um, i'm guessing like after 50 years hmm, after 50 years like in this world if ha uh, rebecca happy and shiki goes to planet norma they'll find themselves there <laughs> it's really interesting and if they bring them out of planet norma at that time there'll be a new like you know shiki rebecca and happy who is younger like both their old selves and the like younger selves will be in the same world just like now we see like the old wives and the young wives at the same world like it's really interesting to see like their time will go on as the actual time went but if someone i'm guessing breaks out of that time wall that time wall that is kind of restricting them if they break out of that place you know like <clears throat> they get uh like incorporated into this world's time so it's really interesting like so whatever happened in this world is going to happen in that world as well 
only the time is will be lagging by 50 years so i'm guessing like uh like the same thing that happened with rebecca like you know she found happy happy god uh what do you call it oh wait a minute okay i have another question here what will happen to the rebecca and happy in planet norma now Weiss came like you know came out of that place there's no Weiss in planet norma now so after happy gets into an accident in that world there will be no Weiss to help restore happy okay oh my god okay this will probably mess with a few things i'm not actually sure like what what will they go what are they going to do then like you know like no one will be able to uh patch happy up because both the wise are in this world okay damn okay like I, i'm guessing like if they defeat the chrono monster or whatever uh this whole thing of lagging 50 years will revert back so okay i'm sure we'll get more answers in the future okay so th this i never thought about this like I, i'm kind of realizing it now that whatever is going to happen in that world that is related to wise won't happen there so the whole thing with patching him patching happy up won't even happen in that world uh wait a minute maybe or maybe not okay maybe okay maybe not you know okay this is like i'm going in circles now you know why i'm saying that won't happen because as like as the story is go going i'm sure like uh, what the accident that happened uh, involving yeah this won't happen there it's getting mixed up you know why this won't happen because that's planet norma i'm guessing rebecca happy they won't be born there because it's planet norma this is not a real world you know it's only a part of the world part of the universe so everything that happened in planet norma is going to happen there so happy shiki and rebecca won't be even there like like i kind of said it before that you know if they go to that world after 50 years will they meet themselves again that won't happen because like in planet normal there is no happy rebecca and no one they weren't even there anytime so that means like you know even if they go there after 50 years they won't meet themselves because uh happy rebecca shiki they have they this is the only time they are they have like visited planet normal they have never visited no planet normal before this so wait they won't meet only everything that happened in planet normal is going to re repeat itself it's a bit complicated this whole thing and i'm kind of like understanding it bit by bit and uh so that means whatever there happens uh which is connected with professor wise won't happen there because professor wise is out of that place so i'm guessing if professor wise you know did something in planet normal to help other people that won't happen here because professor wise came out so their future will be changed like that will only happen it's not going to interfere with happy's future because uh, i'm guessing like uh, rebecca and happy uh, like they met in this you know not in they were nowhere near planet normal when everything happened and the accident also happened outside of planet normal so like there won't be any problem like that so okay like I'm, I'm kind of understood now like like you know before this i was kind of like uh like i i forgot the fact that this is only a planet this is not the whole universe so i was kind of saying that oh like will they meet themselves when they go after 50 years no that won't happen because this is just a planet in which planet uh, rebecca happy and shiki has never gone to before so yeah all right okay uh, it was a bit difficult to understand but i think i kind of under like you know i have able to understand what actually happened there and what is happening <clears throat> all right all right so this episode um we see like uh, okay the first thing that uh, i have to talk about here another thing is uh pino's master now when they said that okay like the name was uh wise uh like and like we kind of thought that okay maybe so the uh future wise that is the old wise maybe he made uh pino because obviously like you know he is like a uh inventor a, a scientist or a discoverer whatever you call him and a, me a mechanic kind of uh, like guy so he could have 
met Pino, but he said like uh, after like we go to the, like we, we meet him uh, through the phone call or the video call, uh, he says that no, he has not made Pino, but he just repaired her. And the person who made Pino is called Demon Lord. Now, excuse me. Um, I'm not sure if this Demon Lord is the same Demon Lord that um, like you know, who is Chiki's grandfather? Because Chiki's grandfather only played the part of a Demon Lord. It's not necessary that he is a demon lord so maybe it is him or maybe not i'm not even sure but someone who named himself demon lord uh made pino so it might be him so who knows i'm sure we'll get more clues uh in the future but like <clears throat> yeah that's another like little information that we got here which, which is quite interesting as well and then they try to get out of that planet like coughs are behind them wise decides to go with them you know kind of like he like previously he thought to like steal the ship but unfortunately like he cannot he won't do that because i'm sure like he wouldn't be able to do that because shiki is here shiki is pretty damn strong so like you know shiki is all like casual and he says that yeah like let's just give this ship to him because obviously this is not our goal this ship is not our goal we have to get a better ship so like yeah he can take this <laughs> and uh, that was funny you know like he he being so like you know chilled chill and like kind of not thinking much about the whole situation <clears throat> he's just like yeah like uh, like uh, obviously we'll have to kind of give this ship away or sell this ship so why not do it now <laughs> okay and uh, yeah <clears throat> And then like the whole uh, kind of conversation with Professor Wise happens and he explains the whole situation that which I talked about previously and uh, then we uh, they, they get uh, captured by Elsie and her crew. Now Elsie is a space pirate and her, the name is Skull Fairy <laughs> which, is, <laughs> which is interesting because like you know <laughs> fairy tale Skull Fairy <laughs> I'm guessing it's something like you know they took it from that but uh yeah and <clears throat> and then they uh like we see a few other characters which i'm surely i'm sure we'll get introduced later on like there's this four characters uh one with a little greenish hair he he looks kind of i don't know like, uh, like you know he has like a little earring and I'm not sure who he looks like but anyways and then there's this huge type of guy with some armor and he also has a weird face two little things protruding out of his head and then there's this another guy with a bandana uh sunglasses and uh like you know there's this little thing uh on top of his shoulder not sure what that is but anyways like i'm guessing we're going to get introduced to them later on and elsie like now here is it another thing like when elsie captures them he kind of says that is shiki here now i'm not sure what that actually means like this can also go two ways either elsie was really looking for shiki and she has some other plan and the thing that she was saying that you know like i plan to sell you guys that is probably not their intention and she is just like, you know trying to trick them but her like like you know there's some other intention which is related to shaky and uh, that might be it which i probably think is the case i'm not sure like you know like why would she like suddenly like ask for shaky then like there must be some other like intention behind that which is somehow related to shaky <clears throat> and maybe she's testing them you know she's testing shaky what we, he will do uh, when he when if she says that yeah I'm going to sell you guys so yeah maybe that is it I'm, I don't know or maybe it's as simple as we see like she really wanted to like you know as she said that we are pirates we plunder capture sell them and then like you know drink and then repeat again so maybe that is just it and it's simply that like she had like you know she had set their eyes on them and con i don't think that is it you know why because elsie has been kind of tracking shiki and their like you know group for quite a while i don't think that's how pirates do stuff you know like pirates don't like you know kind of never make like 
I doubt like like pirates do something like this. Like you know, they research about their uh, person that they're going to kidnap. They track them. They go behind them and capture them and then sell them. This is not what happens. I doubt. So I think that is probably a lie that LC was saying that you know like uh, yeah like I want to sell you guys. Maybe that is not it. Maybe she has some other intention, which is I think has a better chance of uh you know i think that that may be like that must probably be it because she has been tracking shiki and their group for quite a while like she went to uh, what was the name uh, blue garden wasn't it the main hub yeah went there asked the receptionist then like kind of is like trying to find them like pirates don't do stuff like that so i'm sure she has some other intention and i'm sure she kind of like you know is trying to test Shiki or something like who knows like maybe like something like that I don't know I might be wrong <clears throat> and then we get a little bit of uh, uh, the interior <laughs> like the interior designing of this ship is quite interesting like it has some weird things hanging around and then there was this like weird tentacle zombies I don't know Shiki called them like space octopuses <laughs> who knows what they, those things are and then we get a little bit of a fan service <laughs> regarding Rebecca and Rebecca transforms uh, not Rebecca transforms but happy transforms into the gun and like Rebecca saves like you know herself Pino but um, Wise is still like you know <laughs> still um, captured and constrained because of something that he did before and Rebecca is not happy with that <laughs> and then uh, like we see like Shiki uh, going to um, what's, what's the name uh, uh, Elsie's chamber and then we now here is the thing okay I'm not actually sure if this is like you know th the whole face the, the skeleton face either that is a mask or that is her actual face and the face that we are seeing is a mask like it can go either way who knows but my bet is this is a mask you know why because the name of their you know crew is skull fairy so maybe like because of that they like whenever they like go f like you know fight with people or like, like as they said like plunder they kind of put on their mask or something who knows we'll see in the next episode so yeah guys that was it that was this episode i was really like it, like it was a really interesting episode especially because of the whole time uh, like thing that they said like the the time lagging thing and planet normal I'm not sure if I am correct about everything, but like you know, that's how I interpreted the whole thing, the thing that I kind of discussed before. So who knows? So yeah, so that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. This was episode number six of Eden Zero. So if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Be sure to comment down below anything you want to say or uh, anything you want to share. I'll definitely check them out. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Eden Zero, same time. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.